It is the 29th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOP.net tonight. Softball size hail smashes windshields in Kansas. A storm system that could spawn twisters in central U.S. Thursday already did some damage overnight in Madison, Kansas, where softball sales softball size hail smashed car windshields. Uh, this was a huge bow hook, a monster funnel cloud. Um, hail in excess of 4.25 inches, slightly larger than softball at times. Radiation blowback 10 times lethal level registered at Fukushima. A recent examination at Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant has revealed radiation levels up to 10 times the fatal dose. The news alarmed thousands of people who have been living in constant fear of radiation exposure for over a year. On Tuesday, uh, Fukushima workers inserted a remotely controlled probe into Reactor 2 to access the damage. The device is equipped with a video camera, a thermometer, and a, do and a dosimeter, which registered registered radiation levels much higher than expected. So the radiation is higher than expected. The water levels lower than they expected. Um, they're just not coming out and saying it's straightforward. Here it is, China Syndrome, and we're dealing with it. And that's about all I want to cover on their site tonight. Over to the extinction protocol, we got a bunch of volcanoes. Montserrat's Sulphur Hills volcano stirs with activity after two years of slumber. Uh, this is in the Caribbean Sea. Um, <clears throat> for the first time in two years, um, the volcano noted unusual activity with increased seismicity accompanied by ashfall. Acting director of the MVO said the change, which was noted on Friday, is a break from a long state of pause. Uh, thus a reminder the volcano is still very active and the residents there must always be cautious and aware. Uh, another volcano gearing up. Uh, some more drum stuff. Firefighters battle 15 forest fires in northern Spain. Over 500 firefighters backed by planes and helicopters battled 15 wildfires Wednesday in Spain's northern Canabra region amid hot, dry conditions that fueled them. Uh, and they're saying this is their normal um, fire season. It's just happening way, way sooner this year. Alert level raised for uh, Otland Island, Cleveland Volcano. Uh, this is off of Alaska after new lava dome forms. The alert level for the remote Alaska volcano has been raised again after scientists found another lava dome has formed in the crater in the last week. And here we go, yet another one to pop. Moderate earthquake strikes near East Java, 5.1 Richter scale, very active area. Lava dome grows inside Anak Krakatoa volcano, the son of Krakatoa. Uh, the largest noise ever heard by mankind. Rattled by 438 quakes, an active lava dome is growing inside the summit of Crater Krakatoa Volcano. Our tour expedition leader uh, just returned from a visit and reports that the dome is now about 100 meters wide and has two main active vents that e eject jets of incandescent gas. At night the glow from the dome is clearly visible. And a continuous intense sulfuro plume is rising about 500 meters above the summit. This thing is definitely burping off the gases. That's about all from them I want to cover tonight. Uh, i got a bunch of stuff going on with the uh, RSOE today. Flash flooding in the state of Texas. They've had to close some roads due to flash flooding, that kind of thing. Much needed rain in the area. Uh, a chemical fire in the Czech Republic. Uh, originally, the... Fire department was chasing the locals away, saying there might be not toxic gases, and now saying no such thing was released, but uh, several million dollars in damage at a chemical factory. And the volcano in Indonesia, the Anna Krakatau, uh, stories from the forest fire in Jefferson County that killed a couple folks and burned a bunch of houses. They were saying it was a reflash from a controlled berm earlier. 
Flooding still continues in Canada, St. John Rivers area, and uh, of course the Fort Albany and New Brunswick and Ontario. Major flooding still continuing in the Philippines. Uh, let's just go through the volcanic activity. Two in Guatemala, an eruption in Ecuador, uh, the volcano off of Mexico City, Indonesia, uh, Montserrat, of course, and um, Sacagawea volcano in Japan, still very, very, very active, and another one in Ecuador. That's about all climate change I want to cover tonight. Over to the radiation stuff. I'm just going to go to E and E news today. Doctor, more than more often, children complain of circulatory disturbances, tiredness, dizziness after Fukushima. And uh, they're just getting started there. New analysis. Large amount of radioactive materials had discharged through the breach in the primary containment at reactor number 2, a.k.a. China Syndrome. And where is all that leaching into? Uh, the Pacific Ocean, where the ocean currents pick it up and carry it around the world. Cesium started spiking in Chernobyl wildlife during recent years. Researchers don't really understand. This stuff does not go away overnight. It's a half life of tens of thousands of years, some of this stuff. Possible smoke at Fukushima Daiichi, uh, reactor number two building. Um, I watched the video. There was a, there's a big plume of smoke there. It almost looks like a, a big diesel um, starting up kind of thing, but it was a really big cloud. Um, one in the comment board on the on the NE, on this particular news site, uh, one of the people put up a really good point. Uh, Chernobyl has a graveyard of heavy equipment around it where they use to, to fill up the things and uh, they become so radioactive it's impossible to maintain these machinery so um, could be it's just one of these um, big pieces of machinery has been out there for a year and hasn't been maintenanced and uh, they're just running it until it falls over. Nuclear consultant damage to base of reactor number two is quote so severe aka China syndrome. Fukushima monthly fallout higher now than nine months ago in June. Hmm, I wonder why. Radiation levels ten times higher than experts hoped at reactor number two. Number one and number three are even worse. High radiation means delays in decommissioning Fukushima Daiichi. 30 year roadmap will likely now have to be revised. And of course, I covered that last night. Uh, that's about all I want to cover tonight. Definitely enjoy it while you can. I missed anything. Um, oh yeah, the big gas leak out um, Scotland. Um, apparently there's this huge oil rig, another, it's only in 300 feet of water. Uh, it's a natural gas leak and they've evacuated the rig. They're saying it could take up to six months to plug this thing. Uh, the point is, is that that big torch thing that they got hanging up way up high on the ridge to burn off the excess gases is still lit and there is a buttload of natural gas um, coming up underneath this oil rig, so it could explode, that kind of thing. Uh, we'll definitely have to keep an eye on yet another national disaster. So, again, enjoy while you can, everybody. Uh, post your comments or link your videos below. We'll see you later.